we are talking about few questions from uh, variant workbook and uh, we have started out with a chapter on preferences although this question is not straight away from there but uh, doing this question will help you to solve variant workbook so let's look at this question suppose your preferences are given by your uh, this is x2 equals to constant minus root of x root of x1 right so The question is, what is the slope of indifference curve at 1, 3, 1, and uh, does your preferences satisfy? Diminishing MRS. Diminishing MRS. So, beta, you have this kind of the function. Uh, this is x2 equals to constant minus root of x1, x2. So, I can just write it like uh, constant equals to root of x1 plus x2. Right. So the idea is that along an indifference curve, <clears throat> you will be getting the same utility. All the points are going to give you the same utility. So I can call this as, let's say, u bar equals to root of x1 plus x2. And say u bar is equal to 4. Say u bar is equal to 4. Right. Now, we want to get such points of x1 and x2, which are going to give me utility 4 out. Right. So, I can write this as uh, 4 minus x2 equals to x1. 4 minus x2 plus square equals to x1. 4 minus x2 is equal to root of x1. 4 minus x2 plus square equals to x1. Right. So we'll just write few points. Uh, so you can take up different points. For example, x2 0. x1 is equal to 4 minus 0 cos square, that is 16. x2, 1. 4 minus 1 cos square, 9. x2, 2. 4 minus 2 square, 4. to 3 so x1 is 1 square that is 1 and if x2 is 4 x1 is equal to 0 x2 is 4 x1 is equal to 0 so now I can plot these points uh, to get the kind of the indifference curve which you want mm -hmm. so they are not drawn to scale so don't come back to me for that so you have x1, x2. So x2 is 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Hmm? x1 is 
one, it will have four, it will have nine, and somewhere here you have 16, like this. Wow. So your points are what? X1, zero, X2, four. This is one. Huh? Then X1, one, X2, three. This is another point. X1, four, X2, two. Another point. X1, nine, X2, one, and so on and so forth. So the idea is that you will have such kind of an indifference curve. You will have such kind of an indifference curve, like this, something like this, right? And the other thing is that <clears throat> if you find out the MRS, okay, so your, your question also says this, <clears throat> that what is going to be your your uh, your slope of the indifference curve at point one comma three. Uh, so slope of an indifference curve at one comma three. Beta, you have these kind of preferences. X two is equal to constant minus root of x one. So slope of the indifference curve is given by dx2 upon dx1. That is given by minus 1 upon 2 root x1. So at 1, 3, this dx2 upon dx1 will look like minus 1 upon 2. That is minus. 1 upon 2. That is there. Minus 1 upon 2. Right? Okay. Now, if you move down and right along the indifference curve, what you will find out whether the slope is increasing or slope is decreasing. So here, we have found out that the slope looks like somewhere like this. This is the slope. Right? Now, supposedly, if I want to find out the slope of the indifference curve at point 9, comma 1. So this is what we are trying to find out whether the uh, slope is decreasing or increasing. So if the slope is decreasing along an indifference curve, when you move down to the right, you will say that the MRS is diminishing. Hmm. That is one way. That is not the only way to solve it like that. But since we have not uh, properly defined the utility function yet in, in these variant workbook solutions, so I'm just uh, uh, telling you using slope. Slope of an indifference curve at nine comma one. So dx two by dx one is minus one upon two root x. So it is minus one upon two root x one is root of nine. So it is minus one upon two root uh, two into three. That is one point six. So in the absolute value, the slope here was 1 by 2. Here, the slope is 1 by 6. So this line, modulus of slope, is 1 by 2. Here, modulus of slope is 1 by 6. So this value is decreasing when you're moving down and to the right. So when you move from point A to point B, this slope is falling and hence you can easily say that the MRS is diminishing out here. MRS is diminishing. MRS is diminishing. Hmm. One thing. You with me? Uh, so, and if the MRS is diminishing, diminishing, it means that your indifference curves, they are convex. Indifference curves are convex, right? Okay, beta. So this was a very simple application. This is uh, what I wanted to do in uh, this class. And I think by doing this question, you can easily do the next question, I think 3.2 or something of uh, 
of wear in workbook. I guess 3.2. Uh, so maybe 3.2, 3.3, whatever. So you can use this and try to solve this problem. Right? Thank you, Victor.